Hey everyone, welcome to or back to the channel. My name is Hunter Hauk and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to ship a reptile, in this case a leopard gecko, but this should work for the most part with any species of small reptile, especially geckos. I forgot to film an intro the first time, so that's why this seems a little rushed. Anyways, let's get into the video. That's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a sample fray. It's December, which means vlogmas. So the first thing, obviously, that you're going to need is a box. So you have to use a reptile-specific box. This box has been used a couple of times. You can use them more than once, but this will be this box's final trip. It will not be used ever again, and it has crimson exotics on the bottom and on one of the sides, this side, because that's the rescue that I foster for, and that's who adopted out this gecko. And so, you are legally required to write the species, the common name, and the scientific name, as well as the quantity. So this is the male, this is the number of females, and this is the number of unknowns. So we have zero for sure males, zero for sure females, but one unknown sex, leopard gecko, Eubulpharis macularius. And then, it says like perishable handle with care, and then obviously wildlife harmless live animals. So inside of these boxes, I really like this brand of boxes. I will link them below. Not sponsored or anything. Wish I was. They have styrofoam that is actually... <laughs> Oops. Just broke that a little bit. It's okay. This is the last time this box will ever be used, so it's okay. Anyways, they have styrofoam that has breathability in it, so it's still really strong. Well... Kinda. As you can see, I just broke it a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to put the piece back in here to help support the top, but I'm going to probably just wait and do that a little closer to the actual time. So it's breathable, but it's still strong, and then of course there's a top panel. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is, depending on the weather outside, you're going to use a heat pack or not a heat pack. If it's super cool or super warm, you're going to want to use one of these two, which is just a pack of gel that helps keep the temperature consistent throughout. So it doesn't add heat and it doesn't keep it cool or anything, but it just makes it harder for the temperature to change. So once it warms up, it's going to stay warm for longer, and once it cools down, it's going to stay cool for longer. And I need to get all the air out of this because somehow it got some air in there, and that is not good. Okay, so there's that, and then what you're going to want to do is put down some paper. This, right there. And then you're going to need a deli cup for the gecko to actually go in, of course. So I'm using one that is used because I have literally probably 50, at least 30, but probably 50 of these. Because, yeah, I order a lot of insects, and they come in here, so I always like to reuse them. If you need some of these, please send me an email, and I will give you some if you pay shipping. Like, seriously, I want to get rid of them to someone who's going to actually use them. So, inside of here, I want you to fold a paper towel in half, and then, depending on the size of your cup, you might be able to just do this. Obviously, with this one, you can't quite do that, so you're going to want to fold it in half again. And then this way, perfect. Oh, it's a little bit out of focus. I just realized the ring light was off. Sorry about that. The lighting should be a lot better now. Um, anyways, you want that in there. A lot of people will say to miss to the paper towel, but that actually just causes the animal to be stressed out even more, so don't do that. You want the paper towel to be dry. And then, obviously, you'll put your animal in here so this gecko, it's a baby leopard gecko, that's why I'm using a smaller cup. It's not going out until tomorrow morning. So I'm not going to put the gecko in here tonight. I'm going to wait and do that tomorrow. So for now, I'm just going to seal this. This is crested gecko food. I'm not sure how it got on here, 
but it somehow did. And then you may choose to put a little piece of tape around here. I personally choose not to. And then this is where you have to be very careful. You have to do a lot of research specific to your species based on the temperature where you're going to be and decide if you're going to use a heat pack or not. So I personally prefer the 72 hour type because they don't get as hot and they stay warmer for longer. So the 48 hour brand, or excuse me, variety gets hotter and then it doesn't stay hot as long. The 72 hour stays hot for longer but it doesn't get as hot. A very important thing is it has to be Uniheat brand. This is the only brand that you can use for reptiles or else it voids your contract with um, ship your reptiles or whatever other reptile shipping company you're using. You cannot use hot hands or any of the hand warmers that are on screen. Those get way too hot and only stay warm for 12 to 24 hours, which will not be long enough to keep your animal safe. You have to use this and do not open it yet. So you can kind of see through here there is a red line. So what you're going to want to do once you open it, it immediately starts heating up. So you can't do that until right before you're about to put the gecko in the box. Actually, I usually do it about an hour before I put the gecko in the box. And then what you're going to want to do, I'll just demonstrate. I have a brand new roll of packing tape because I used up my last one, so I bought more. <laughs> so I promise I'm not being wasteful. I'm going to reuse this one, this exact tape tomorrow. But you'll see this red line here if you can't see it when I'm editing this. I will add, there's little pieces of styrofoam, anyways, I will add like a red line so that you can see, but anyways, it's right here, so that's not long enough, oops. So what you're going to want to do after you take it out of the package is tape it, and you want the tape to go all the way around, so I also like to get a piece of tape here, and do this so that it's all the way around you can see if you don't go all the way around and this happens there we go here's a better example you want the piece to be pretty long and like I said don't cover the red line and then you'll just flip it around so that it's completely right in there and I'm gonna reuse this tape so it's not wasteful and then what you're going to do now that this is open, get more packing material. So on the top, on the bottom I like to use craft paper, but on the top I don't because it doesn't allow heat to transfer as well. So I personally choose to use paper towel on the top. So just do that, and then you can do this, and then what you're going to do is what we like to call the H-tape method. So, I'm gonna actually pick this right up where I leave off tomorrow. Okay, it is the next morning. It's the day of shipping for this little gecko. And let me show you the gecko, I guess. For those of you who have been following along on my channel, you will know this gecko. This is Ash the leopard gecko that I've been fostering. Also, I have a burn on my hand because I was making cinnamon rolls and I accidentally touched the pan. So anyways, you're going to want to put the gecko in here. And it's hard to do on camera, sorry. And just be patient with them, of course. Okay, so now you just have to make sure that their nose, tail, and toes are not in the way and they are not so let me film a clip of what it looks like from the front so you'll see the gecko can kind of move around they are obviously it's tight because if the cup gets shaken around in shipping you don't want them to be able to fly around you want them to be nice and solid in there and safe so anyways like I showed you yesterday you're gonna put this right there and then Okay, you're going to open this. 
There's a little tear thing in the corner. And so you'll feel it immediately. Uh, it doesn't start heating up immediately, I guess, but... Okay, it's time for our next step. So you're going to get your styrofoam panel and set your heat mat or heat pack. You'll notice it's probably not super warm yet. That is okay if we just left it. I ended up just leaving it for like 15 minutes and then in another 15 minutes I'll seal up the box. But anyways, I was going to reuse the tape that I used to demonstrate it, but the tape kind of got damaged when I took it off. So let me move this. And then you're going to flip it and tape it all the way around the back, just like this. There, there's that. And like that, tape it around on the back and tape it around on the back. So it will start heating up. And then, when you do close it up, you're going to want to put some paper towel above, because remember, paper towel does transfer heat better than the craft paper. So you're going to do that, and then you're going to close it up. Now, I'm going to take it out here in just a little bit again, but then what you want to do, I always, from Crimson Exotics, we always put a note to the person, and then you have to have this paper, which you can download from your reptile shipping provider, but it basically tells FedEx in case they do open this to inspect it um, that it is following all the rules, and then you put an extra copy of the shipping label, I'm going to put it face down, but you're going to put it face up so that if the one on the outside gets damaged, they can always um, take this one out here and put it back on and get the package on its way again. And then I'll see you again when we close it up. Okay, it is now go time. So what you're going to do, you have all of your important paperwork on top, you're going to close the box up, and then you're going to first tape it, obviously, and this is hard to do with the tripod in the way. First, you're going to tape it this way, and we always and you always want to do what's called the H tape method so you want it to look like an H when you're done with it and I need to cut this a little bit basically you're gonna also put a piece of tape right here like this so that it's extra secure okay so there is that and then you're going to put on your label. So I have it on actual labels. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt to blur. But, even so, I'm still going to tape over the label. just to be safe. Because I want to avoid this label getting damaged at all costs. Okay, so the label is completely taped up and ready to go. Thanks again for watching everyone. I hope you learned something in this video about l how to ship a reptile. If you did, be I sure to comment down below and I will definitely see you in the next video. Thanks again and bye bye.